don't really know anything about this game, all I know that I saw it on Steam, it looked freaking epic, it looked like an adventure awaits me, I haven't watched any videos, I'm coming in with completely clear mind, but all of that we're gonna figure out as we go, so just kick back, relax and let's enjoy this adventure together. And so let's create our first character in this game, we're gonna create the most basic NPC character in this game. There we go, this guy looks like he has a quest for me, can we go like this? Thank you. I have no idea what's going on, but... Oh, okay, we arrived. Got it. I won't lie, it kind of looked a little bit better in um, Steam. I have everything maxed out, but maybe once we get out of this area, it's gonna look a little bit better than this. But we'll see. I'm not saying it looks bad, but a little bit of lag. Maybe the game is still loading a little bit. Ah, that looks good, man. That looks so good. Looks like a lovely place that you would love to live. Absolutely awesome. Now let's go ahead and explore all of it. I don't know how long it is, so maybe not all of it in this video, but you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Unfortunately, these guys telling me they have no place for me to sleep, but I can build my tent in a plot, so that works with me. We got some of the most basic tools, but that's where the adventure begins, right? I mean, animations are, you know, not something I will praise this game for, but honestly, as long as the gameplay itself is gonna be fun, who cares, who gives a fuck, man? Alright, we have a work table. Uh, yeah, I guess this will do for now. Let's make a chest. Not gonna lie, I don't like how the wheel is on R and not on tab. Just doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's craft a tent. After all, we need to sleep somewhere. Holy frick, it's huge. Something's in the way. Yeah, uh, I think I know what. Oh, that's nice. You can actually move without destroying it. That's not something you can do in a lot of games. Alright, so I cleaned up as much as possible. Let's place a tent. Yeah, I think this will do. Admittedly, there's not a lot of space, but, um, you know, it is what it is. For now, this will have to do. And we'll see what we can do in the future, but this will do for now. The quest says leave your housing plot. Um, I kinda did, buddy. I kinda did. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have left my housing plot, so I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so I needed to move out in a different dire direction. Got it. To be honest, then they should specify that you need to move into a certain location, but that's alright. Alright, this looks freaking awesome. Looks so beautiful. What a gorgeous city. This, like, little houses with round doors kind of remind me a little bit of the Hobbit houses. Not hugely, but a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm too poor for all of these things. I like how the map is actually pretty informative and not only that, the NPCs are moving but you can actually see them move in real time. And the fact that the NPCs don't stay in place and move around, I can understand how it can be a little bit maybe annoying at times but also kinda brings a little bit more life to the game, doesn't it? Right, because it's gonna feel a little bit more real that, you know, people don't stay in place all day long, they actually move, walk, do stuff, you know, the thing that we call life. <laughs> what a cool house. Oh, okay, we actually have a bow. I didn't even know. Okay, that seems a decent enough combat. I don't think there's gonna be too much of a combat, right? Let's try it. There we go. Our first loot. I see a deer. Can we hit a deer? I don't think we did, right? It ran away. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Admittedly, I shot it here, but the loot is here, so... Hmm. Can we swim in this game? Yeah, that's a no. Okay, we're gonna learn gardening. I'm thinking we could build a garden somewhere on this side. Somewhere right around here. There we go. We found some loot. There we go. That's looking nicely. Alright, this guy gave us a little bit of onion seeds. Let's place them. Let's also water them. Such a nice and chill cool game, man. I swear to God. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like the video. And also be sure to let me know, do you guys want to see me make more videos on this game? It seems like a lovely game to play. But yeah, otherwise, let's get back to questing. Admittedly, I wish the NPCs were either a little closer or there was like a a little bit faster way of traveling, but um, at least the world is absolutely gorgeous. I, I guess it's okay, but it is a lot of running though. Yeah, the running is definitely, let's just say, interesting, right? <laughs> oh, there is a fast travel. Okay, got it. Well, that makes a lot more sense. We are poor, that's to say the least, but we'll get there, we'll get there. We are poor, but these guys living in a freaking mansion. So yeah, just like in real life, somebody got it good and somebody not so much. Hey there, buddy. 
not surprised this guy lives good. Thankfully, this is a fast return to home, so at least there's that. Okay, so there's actually quite a little bit more stuff now that we can place. I mean craft, so let's start with some of it. First, we need a campfire. Let's place a campfire, but that's not all. We gotta have a place to eat, right? There we go. Yep, that looks absolutely lovely. Can you imagine in the morning just coming outside, starting a fire, having a coffee, and this lovely view? Ah, that would be awesome. Let's cook some mushrooms. Can it burn though? I don't think so. We are missing a little bit of wood. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's place a wardrobe. I would say somewhere around here. That'll do. Alright, so there's actually a whole monetization system. Not that I'm interested in it, but there we go. It is there. Alright, so you can actually expand, right? Got it. So you need some sort of a currency to expand. Understood. Okay, you can actually move stuff around like this. Okay, that is very good to know. Alright, so we can actually place a whole house. Alright, move this out of place for now. And all of these. Do we even need a tent at this point? What's the point? I think we're gonna break it down once we finish the house. I like how you can move stuff around and you don't need to even click anything. You just click one button and then everything becomes movable. I really like that. Well, we do not have any stone bricks. How do we make stone bricks? That's a good question. I think we need to level up our mining to level 2 and the same thing with lodging. Unfortunately, you can only fast travel back home once every like 30 minutes or something. That's a little bit disappointing. I will say that the amount of NPCs in this game is just absolutely ridiculous. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, you don't feel alone but it's also really a lot. I do need this thing mate, thank you. Damn, this dude looks kinda cool. Now we can place a sawmill, because I'm building a house and I'm not gonna keep the tent, I'm just gonna place it for now anywhere. I swear to god I was like, where the hell am I supposed to find this guy? I just couldn't find him, and apparently he's in a different map. Thankfully I found the map, and this is the one that I went at first by accident. And so because I went at first by accident here, I knew that it was a second map that I can go to. But if you wouldn't know, you would be confused as hell, man, I swear to god. You just wouldn't understand what the hell are you supposed to do. There's the guy. Thank you, mate. Oh, thank you, dude. That's 100 gold. That's pretty nice. Thank you. Let's place this thing. Wow, so it only makes one a minute. Holy f fuck this is gonna take a while man i mean does it do when i'm on flying or or no because otherwise this kind of sucks a little bit let's place this right around here i'm gonna collect a hundred of each and then i'm gonna go to sleep for today because it's already 1 a.m and we're gonna see in the morning has it finished it or not and if it's not i'm gonna cry a little and then I'm gonna leave it online and just go make a little bit of food. Because the character in the game is not the only character that needs food. Although admittedly I haven't eaten in the game yet. So honestly maybe he doesn't eat any food. But I do. Alright the bricks are placed. The planks as well. And the crops are watered. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. But for you that's gonna be just about now. And good morning everybody. All right, let's see. Did our logs and stones made up overnight? They did. So that is actually pretty nice. That is lovely to see. Oh my god, don't I need a hundred of these? I think I messed up, didn't I? Oh no, I only need 35. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's okay. All right, there we go. F foundations are made. Um, How do I build next? Eight hours. Wow. Okay, well, that sucks. That means I have to wait for tomorrow. In this case, I would have rather just waited out online, but yeah. Everything else was made up quite quickly, so I didn't think it would take this long, but I guess it does, so... Yeah, kinda low-key sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I get it, it's a builder and I don't mind waiting a little bit, but 8 hours is, you know, a bit much. So I guess the best that we can do right now is just keep on questing and... Yeah, wait, I guess. Let's buy this recipe, we're gonna need it. I still have this I can sell, which is 400 gold, which is pretty nice. But do you want a gift? Ah, oh, there we go. He enjoyed the gift. We need to give five gifts. This one's kind of salty, no matter what I give her. She's just like, well, what made you think I'm gonna enjoy this? Just fucking take something, man. It's, it's free shit and you're not taking anything. 
take a plank, you piece of... Alright, you know what? I gave her like 7 options. You don't want anything? You can fuck off. You buddy, do you want something? Do you want meat? This is for me? Yeah, good. You see, that's how you do it. These idiots are so picky, man. Alright, we gave out 5 gifts. Now it's time to take our gift. Whatever that's gonna be. Yeah, we just got some food. That's about it. <laughs> What the hell is that? Let's go check it out. What the fuck, man? What is that? Why is it so freaking huge? I mean, it's pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but... Ooh, there's another chest. I see another chest down there, but we're gonna pick it up next time. I will know where it is. Right now, I'm kind of busy. You know, waiting eight hours for my house to finish me building, but... There we go. Can you tell that I'm pissed off? This quest says, finish building your house. Like, bro, it's not like I have a lot of options. It's, it, there's not like I can do anything, but like, just, you know, wait. Can you give me a quest? Because I don't have anything to do. Doesn't look like it. They're giving me some sort of a walls. Huh? Oh, got it. All right, understood. All right, what do we need for a better axe? If I could at least make that and then make a better pick pickaxe, I could at least clean out the area and stock up on supplies. Do something in those eight hours. Mm-hmm. We need some copper. So let's go ahead and look. If we found a little bit of copper, I would love to find a little bit more. Why is this thing all shiny? They didn't really give me anything extraordinary. I don't get it why they shine, but what I need is copper and not this, so... Huh, what is this? A quest sent me here. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Mm, there is a riddle, but um, not entirely sure what it's supposed to mean. To enter here, you must supply that which grows life. So like water, something like that. Um, Yeah, I didn't think so, but maybe I need to fill this thing. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense <laughs> than trying to water the door. Okay, so it goes a little bit deeper. However, there isn't any obvious way to progress further than here. Although that looks pretty awesome, would love to explore it. I will say that the copper is not that easy to come by. I don't know if other people can mine it and then you don't have it because I kind of googled the some of the locations I can find it, find it and it just wasn't there. So maybe other people mined it. I don't know. Is this is from Shrek? Some Oh, we might receive a glider. Okay. I also want this recipe. Let's take a recipe for iron bars as well. All right. It's time to smelt some copper. Although this is gonna take a while. One bar takes three minutes. <sighs> yeah. Let's plant some wheat. Our onions and carrots are grown. Let's take them. By the way, guys, what does the focus do? I don't really get it. You know, whenever it runs out or something, it just... It, I, it doesn't feel like there's any difference, so I'm not entirely sure. Alright, let's see what do we have that it's worth... Well, anything really? It's like, do I really need them? You know what I mean? I, I kind of need the gold a little bit more. I mean, we can always get some flint, right? It's really not a big deal. Alright, we sold off everything. We have... Well... How much do we have? Oh, there we go. We have a thousand. Okay, now we're pretty good. I hope so. Let's purchase a backpack. Well, it says that it's supposed to be in general store, but I just don't see it. Maybe let's also purchase a little bit of seeds because they're kind of profitable, to be honest. Ah, there we go. I see it now. I mean, that's kind of cool. You walk into the counter and, you know, you find the item that you like. It's cool, but it can also be a little bit misleading. All right, I received the glider. That should make my life a little bit easier, hopefully. I guess they want me now to glide. Now it is possible to do that. We can explore a little bit further inside of here. Okay, I was kind of a little bit stuck not knowing what to do here. It was a little bit confusing, but then I thought this water has to be here for a reason. And then when you stand on it, it starts to boil and um, and then it does this. All right, not what I expected, but there we go. Mm, what's going on? I need to contribute, but obviously I have none of these. So maybe a little bit later, because right now we don't have any of them. Um, what is this? Is this is a toilet or something? <laughs> what the heck is this? I'm just gonna put it somewhere here for now. Oh, it's a storage sorts, but it looks like garbage. Somebody gave it to me, but yeah, they can keep it to themselves. I had so much copper. Why did I only make 13 bars? Oh, I need five ores per bar. Holy shit. Yeah, the copper is kind of going to be a problem. Thankfully, we have enough for both of these. That's the important bit. 
All right, let's see what kind of trees can we take now. Okay, we can take the bigger ones. How much more wood will they give? Okay, they give quite a little bit more wood. That is nice. What about this? I still cannot take these. Huh, interesting. I don't really understand what's the point of this pickaxe. These items, at least the normal ones, they don't break. These do. And it's not like this pickaxe can cut bigger stones. So it's like, well, what's the point of it? I can cut copper with like the normal axe anyway. I don't know, it just got, got, kinda doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'm gonna leave to do 100 planks as much as I can find copper. And yeah, we still have five and a half hours to go. So what can I say, guys? I'll see you then. And so there we go. The house is finished. So it looks actually pretty good, I have to say. I like it. And this outside now looks kind of cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of missing stuff inside. Ooh, that is nice. That is very nice. What about this? Um, I'm not sure. Honestly, this is better. I like it this like this more. But we have a few more decorations. Hold on. I guess red one isn't bad, but what about the blue one? Nah, blue one not much. The black one, I guess kind of cool. Depends for what kind of vibe are you going. You know, mm, don't like the green. I don't know. Honestly, I kind of like it like this. Just th th that's for me the best. Like, I, I don't really even want to change anything, if I'm being honest. Maybe what I could change is these, at least on the sides, right? This is kind of looks a little bit better, right? Something like this. And then just keep the front like it is and do it from the back as well. So there's kind of a little bit of black accents and a white front. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. I would love to change the roof. I don't know if that's possible though. Let's start by moving our stuff. For now, let's just place it somewhere here. We'll see later on. You know, I wonder, should I move these on the inside? Because I feel like I probably shouldn't, right? It's gonna mess up the inside view. Maybe I should just keep the tent and just make it essentially like a workshop, right? Let's remove this tree real quick. You know, just place it something like this. Let's put this here. For now, I'm gonna place this thing here. Once we have a bed, we'll see. A little table and a chair. I'm gonna place this instead of that. This thing right here. A wooden shelf here. Garbage disposal somewhere here, right? This is a nightstand, but we don't have a bed just yet, so... We'll place it for here, just right now. This thing right here. And this is starting to take a little bit of a shape. We're just missing a bed and maybe a couch. But for that, I need to wait a little bit. Let's build a little fence around these guys. Yeah, this will do just fine. At some point, we're gonna expand, but that's not something I'm concerned just yet. Let's make a glass furnace. Place it here. Okay, so to make glass, we need 10 stones for each glass. And it takes quite a long time as well, but let's start making it. Let's make a bed. I like how you can actually window shop. That is quite cool. And you can see the items, how they're gonna look. Pretty awesome, but we're too poor for these items right now. Yeah, that's a nice looking bed. Way out of my league though. Place it right around here. That is actually very good because now we can make fabric and leather and both are really expensive. Especially the fabric is wildly expensive. Although I do not have any cotton, so I'm gonna need to find that. That's more or less all we can make right now, so let's place it all. Let's put a bed like this. Take the nightstand, put it right around here, put this thing here. We still have a little bit of unused space here, but we're gonna put something inside. I could put a couch, but I don't know, I'm thinking maybe put a couch on the outside. You know, something like this, so you could go out and chill out. And you know, just enjoy your morning coffee somewhere here like this, you know what I mean? Honestly, maybe put it even like this. Something like this, right? That looks pretty good to me. And then maybe let's move this right here by the tree because, you know, it's always nicer to have a picnic by the tree. Put a little fence. Now this is complete. Obviously water everything. And yeah, guys, I think this is about it. For now, this is all that we can do. I mean, there's so much more that we can do, obviously. But all of that is gonna come in time. So as you can see, we have a picnic right here. We have our grill here with a table, with a couch, so you can go ahead and have some coffee, have some lunch, whatever that may be. We have this thing over here, which, um, yeah, we don't talk about it. I don't know why I have it here. Then coming on the inside, we have a little bit of stuff around here. We have a table, we have an instrument, we have a shelf, we have another shelf here, this thing here, our bed, our night shelf. We have still a little bit of empty space around here, which we're gonna fill out with something. I don't know what just yet. We have our little garden here. We have some wheat, carrots, onions, and we're gonna expand in the future. This is our workshop. 
we have the workstation, the storage, the fabric crafter, smelter, plank maker, glass maker, our wardrobe that we don't need anymore, but I don't know, I'm, I guess I'll just leave it here so it fills out a little bit of space until we get some more stuff. Obviously, if we have one plant, we need to get some more. And yeah, I believe this is about it. Um, yeah, what can I say? This is an awesome game. Chill, cozy, lovely, absolutely joyful to play. It's not perfect. It has some issues, have some little bugs here and there. Optimization could be a little bit better, you know, I'm not gonna lie. But overall, you know, I can't complain too much. It's a free game and it's, it's an awesome little MMO builder. Absolutely cozy and lovely time to spend in. And if you guys want to see more episodes, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments. But yeah, I absolutely loved my time in, in here and I would love to make more episodes. So if you guys want to see more episodes, let me know and you can watch any of these videos or I'll just see you next time. Take care.